Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue PKN Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to create a filter that works as you type. So I'm going to type in this box. So if I start with the word S, letter S rather, you can see I get all the sales reps uh, started with the letter S. But if, for example, if I typed in an A, I'd only be left with the uh, one name that starts with an S and an A. If I typed in uh, an E, I'd get the one name that started with an S and an E. So that's how it's going to work. I can then type something in and it's going to, as I type it, filter the list for me. Okay, so I've got rid of the functionality that made the search uh, filter possible. Uh, and we'll recreate it. Now, what you will need to do is show the developer tab on your ribbon. And if it's not currently showing it's pretty easy to show just right click on an existing tab customize the ribbon and then tick developer there and then it will show up we'll need that later also just to let you know i've converted this to an excel table and i did that by just clicking in the data and going to insert table it's already grayed out which means i've done the conversion and i've given the table a name i've called it sales rep why have I done that? It just makes it easier to refer to in my formula. So um, we're going to use a function here called filter. And filter is only available in uh, Excel 365. So if you have an earlier version of Excel, this isn't going to work. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these arguments, obviously. Array is the... Uh, well, I don't need to select it because I've already called, called it sales rep. See, with the table, this is what's nice. You can just type S and there we are. We have sales rep. I don't need to do all that selection business, which is really useful if this was a large set of data. Now, the second argument is include. Now, this is a logical test. If it returns true, that record is returned by the filter. So what I want to do is I want to say, um, well, I can actually use the left function. And the reason I'm using the left function is because I want to do a filter that looks at the first characters in each of these names. So for example, if I typed in S up here, what I want is all the names that start with S, not names that contain S. So I'm using the left function to look at the leftmost characters in these names here. Now I'm going to select those names and you can do that again using, you don't have to select anything. I just type sales rep, open bracket, sales rep, close bracket, notice they're square brackets. So that's what I'm looking at. And um, the number of characters that I'm looking for in each of these names will be calculated using the len function. It will look up here to see how many characters I've written up here. Okay, one, two, three, or whatever. So that's my criteria. Well, it's not my criteria because it's got to be a logical test. I don't have a comparison operator in there yet, so it's not a test. So I'm going to say, does it equal this? So do any of these names, the first characters in these names, equal what I've typed in here? If it's true, then you want to return that record in the filter. So that is the logical test. So if I type a comma, the last argument, if empty. So if the filter doesn't return any results, by default, it returns an error. So we can replace that error with uh, no names found. OK, so if I press Enter. Now, that is a strange result, but the reason for that is I've left something in there. <laughs> So I'll take that out. I'd also formatted the font so it was blue earlier on, so you can see that. But if we try this now, for example, if I type C in, press Enter, you can see it brings back all the sales reps that start with, uh, whose names start with the letter C. If I typed in an S, and then, in, for example, if I typed in an E after that, you can see that it steadily reduces the results. So you can see how it's working, but the only trouble with typing it directly into a cell is that you have to kind of confirm every time you want the result, which isn't 
which isn't really how search boxes work. If, for example, if you're in something like Google, it, it kind of filters as you type. So we're going to leave that in there. That's fine. That's in cell E1. But what we are going to do is go up to the developer tab, go to the insert button and add this ActiveX control, the text box control. I'm going to click on it and then I'm just going to click over here. You make it this as large as you like. And we're eventually going to type stuff in here, but we, what we need to do is link whatever we type in here to this cell. Now to do that, you just go into the properties for this little text box. So if I double click on it, that'll open up Visual Basic for Applications Editor. And you should see you've got a properties window here. If it doesn't appear, go to view and properties window or F4. And there's a little property here called link cell, which is where you need to put in this cell address. So if I type in E1 into there, press enter, that's all I need to do. And then I just close this down. Now you'll see how this works, oh, excuse me, is that whatever I type in here will appear in here. Now I'm just going to place this. Now I won't do that moment. I'm going to turn design mode off. And then I just want to show you how this works. So whatever I type in here appears in the cell E1. Only how that only works if you turn design mode off. I'm going to turn it back on because obviously I don't need to see two occurrences of the filter criteria. I'm just going to move this over here so it covers it. In fact, what I did before, which is where I got in trouble earlier on, is just change the font color to blue so you can definitely not see it. And then you can just place this over here so it looks as though it's all controlled by this little text box. So now I turn design mode off and whatever I type in here, if I type A, no names found. If I type an S in, I get all the sales reps starting with S. I type an E in and you can see it works really nicely. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Unfortunately, you can only be able to do this if you've got Office 365, but if you have, it's a good little trick to know. As I said, thanks very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video.